Welcome to Salient TV's As Seen in FileMaker 13 series. My name is Martha Zink and I'm going to focus on popovers for data entry. In this example we're looking at a project list and the idea is I want to be able to create a new project pretty easily. In the past I've used a modal dialog window in order to you know center the screen and have the user enter in new project details in a new window or I take the user to a project details view where they can fill in the fields that they need to fill in. Now in the first example where I create a new window there's a lot of developer overhead. I have to create a new layout, I have to create a script that knows how to size the window and where to place it on the screen. And with the second example where I take them to the detailed view I might be overwhelming the user with too much stuff when all they really want to do is create a simple project and put in the pertinent details. With popovers we can actually focus the user on only entering the things that matter most the required fields and then from there they can go into the detailed view or they can uh, go on with whatever else they need to do. So here I have a popover button, this is a new project. If I click on it you'll see that it has three fields on there. Now these are all global fields which means that they can be populated and then we can clear them as necessary. Also it means that it'll work in a multi-user environment. So I'll go in here and type in project X and I'll be the main contact and then we can add some notes and then hit create and you'll see that very quickly it went ahead and created that project now that create button is based off of a script which means that we could double check that the user entered all the proper fields we could uh, validate the data we can do all kinds of things before actually creating the project here the other bit benefit of a popover is that it's not intrusive or at least it doesn't have to be so I can go in here start typing a project name change my mind and just exit. And because there's a script trigger on here, it actually clears the values within the global fields by the time I get back into the popover. So let's talk a little bit about how this is set up. I'm going to jump into layout mode. Now you'll notice that there's a script trigger on this popover and if I open that up you'll see that it's on object exit and it's a cleanup project popover. So what that's doing it just says if I exit the popover go ahead and clear the three fields, the three global fields. The create button is running a script called create new project and we'll take a look at that in just a second. And then the cancel button is just running the close popover script step. What that means is that when I hit the cancel button it's going to close the popover and it's actually going to run the script trigger at that point because it's on object exit that it runs the cleanup script. So I'm just taking advantage of the script trigger already existing so all I need for that cancel button to do is the exact same thing that would happen if a user clicked away from the screen. It's just a way to make it a little more intuitive in case a user doesn't know that they can click away. So looking at the create script, it's going to create a new record and then it's going to set the fields to the proper values. And then it's going to clear those fields for the next time, the global fields. Now you'll see that I have here a global variable that's being turned on to the value of 1 and I'm calling it script trigger off. The reason for that is when I create a new record, the popover is going to close, which means that the on object exit, which cleans up the popover, will run, which means that then I can't gather the global field values. Now there are multiple ways to do this. Before I create the new record, I could take the values and put them into variables, and then I wouldn't worry about, have to worry about basically turning off the script triggers. If I look at the cleanup project popover, you'll see that this is where that's, that global variable matters. So if the script trigger off variable is set to 1, it actually won't do these actions, which is to clear those globals. So those are the two scripts associated with this process. Now, let's say that you are using this process and then you find out that your users are clicking away from the popover without realizing it, and they are entering valid project data and they don't want they, they keep losing it. I've written another script so let me open up the script triggers here and I'm going to change this to close popover prompt user. The difference is this if I go in here start typing some stuff and try to click away it'll actually prompt me and say that I started entering data and did I mean to do that? Do it, did I mean to try and cancel? If I say yes the popover goes away and I can keep doing what I was going to do. Now if I do that again and click no, you'll notice that the popover doesn't go away and I didn't lose the values in my fields yet. 
looking at that script, we're using, again, we have to make sure that our triggers are not off. And when it runs, we're just saying, OK, if one or more of these fields have values in them, so if, in other words, if the data, if the user entered data, then we want to prompt them and say, hey, did you mean to do that? If my user didn't enter any data, then I don't mind if they close the popover. It doesn't matter. There's nothing lost there. So let's say they did enter data, then we ask the question, and here's where the magic really happens. If they said, no, I did not mean to cancel, then we exit the script with the result of false. Now this is an example of a script trigger that runs, where the script runs before the action that caused it to happen. So that's just a confusing way of saying that the script trigger is set to work on, on object exit. So before it actually exited the popover, the script ran. And the script at this point said, I'm telling you the action that was supposed to happen. You cannot happen. So closing the popover will not occur. So you cannot exit the object, in this case, the popover. Now if you said, yeah, I did mean to exit, then it just sets those three fields, it clears those fields like it would for the cleanup, and then it closes the popover because that was the action that triggered it, that on object exit. So with a pretty clean and simple interface, a user can go in here, create a new project, they can abandon creating a new project without either with some dialogues in there to tell you that you started entering data, or you could have it be passive and let the user's data clear every time they clear away from it. But really, this was all very doable with just a, a few global fields and a couple of scripts. I didn't have to create a new layout. I didn't have to write complex scripts about new windows and centering multiple windows. So this can be a really intuitive and friendly way to allow for data entry all within one layout. I think there are multiple ways to take advantage of popovers from a data entry perspective. If you have a different way that you're using it, please leave some comments. And thanks for watching.